guys at 1847 in the Emirates Towers in Dubai and they're gonna answer a few questions for us about barbering in Dubai and barbering in 1847. So what makes 1847 unique to the other barber shops in Dubai? 1847 it's uh, really different the client when he came to 1847 really he feel he feel like if he's coming to his home he came here he do his, his treatment like uh, haircut and shave after that he go to the next station, he go to the massage, after he finish his massage, he relax, he go to the manicure, by the cure, to the girls. Really, he feel like if he's in his house, yeah. So how important is it for a barber to have good tools? Or is it more the barber's creativeness that matters more? If in the long, long time, we don't have machine. We're only using the scissor. And then, oh, you're only using the machine. You're not the real barber. If you're using the scissor and comb, you're the real barber. Cool, so can you tell us a little bit about the razor you use? Yeah, actually the razor uh, in the Middle East is very important for the beard and for uh, to clean the sideburns and the back. Uh, this is the razor. And like that you get the blade. That's uh that's why we called 1847. When they uh, discovered uh, the blade at the year of 1847, that's why we called 1847. Oh, really? That's yeah, why. this is that. That's why when, when, when they started 1847, we don't have haircut, everything like that, only shaping. But the client requests they, they, they need a haircut. They need a haircut. It started as just shaving? Just yeah, shaving, in 1847 first? Yeah. Shaving on. What clippers are most popular in 1847? Actually, the Moser, the Moser clipper. You want to see the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah. It's actually Moser. And this is Moser, but different name. It's Airmela. Okay. You can see there. Different brands? Yeah, this brand, but same, all Germany, made in Germany. And why do you use them in, instead of others? Do you find them the best or? Yeah, of course, it's the best. Really the best. Moser, the best. Yeah. This is this also special for Arabic. If you don't, you won't try for Yeah, yeah, try. I know, I know what it feels like. <laughs> I, I got taught to do that. One of my friends taught me. Let me see. Oh. Doesn't feel nice, does yeah. it? For here, for the face, for in the middle. Eyebrows. Yeah, I need, I need, I've been meaning to do them. Oh, you're saying I need hair colour as well? <laughs> I am getting a few greys. <laughs> this one only take it, catch the black hair. Yeah, not take all the hair, even the soft hair. Yeah. yeah. There seems to be a trend within the Arab community for the super sharp facial hair. Can you tell us how that became popular? Uh, actually, here in UAE, uh, everyone, the local, they have a beard. Even me, see, I'm not local, but I have a beard. <laughs> because Sheikh Zayed, uh, Sheikh Zayed, they have a beard for a long time. Since when we have UAE, they have Sheikh Zayed beard. So everyone, now they have a beard in UAE. It's special for Arab, Arab, the beard, for him, he, um, same if I not have beard, uh, example, if I not have beard, sometimes with the people, same I feel I am shy. A man must have beer. <laughs> like that. Actually, I'm, a, I'm an artist also. When I start to haircut, I feel I feel I, I, I'm a, I start to draw one uh, one portrait like that. 
I'm very happy when I finish that. Even my, when I start for the painting, when I finish that, I'm very happy. And when I start for the haircut, when I finish that, I'm happy. Cool, so we're with Tarek in the, the barber room in the Festival City Mall. And he's going to tell us a few things about his history as a barber and how he became to start a shop. I started as a staff here in 2006. And actually I work hard and uh, I work more than 12 hours per day and uh, it was so difficult in the beginning and uh, I had some uh, support from uh, one of my best friends, he's like my father over here in Dubai and he's the one who support me and who, who's, uh, he's the one who helped me to own the shop and uh, I'm so glad that uh, he's always next to me and he always support me and anything I need he's always next to me and he's like uh, my father over here and in Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> and how important is it for men to stay well groomed here? It's, it's different than everywhere it's not like other countries you know you are here in Dubai and you should know what's meaning of Dubai Many things make you to look nice and to go to your barbers. Like uh, the nightlife here asks you to be groomed and to be look, look good and your job as well. So, uh, and everybody in Dubai, they like to, uh, to do something special. They like to, uh, to be unique and to look good and to look different than others. <laughs> it's all about the image here. Yes, of course, it's like that. You can come here and you feel like you are at home and uh, you can have your coffee, you can have the drink you want and uh, it's uh, like social salon, you know and everyone come here, talk about his problems <laughs> with his wife maybe <laughs> and uh, or with his girlfriend <laughs> it's Dubai, you know yeah. and uh, good customer service this is the important what I focus for it and I like the staff to come at work He's always smiling, yeah. he's always happy. If you have any problem with his wife, with his girlfriend, with anyone, he should leave it outside the shop and he come here, he's happy. I like him to be always happy at work, to give the maximum what he has. Yeah. And always I like to give them support, make them happy, help them about everything they needed in the shop or outside the shop. Yeah. You know, anything they needed outside, I make my best to help them, to make them feel happy here. And anyway, I don't treat them like uh, I own the shop and I'm the boss, no. If you come in the weekend, I sit on the cash, I clean the floor, I do everything, I cut hair. This is the important no thing. Hierarchy. Yeah, Yeah, of course, of course. The, the leader, he should uh, work with his workers. Not Lead by just, example. Yeah, yeah, stand, do this and do this, no, no, no. Even I will own many shops, I will stay like this. Now if I stay at home, like one day or two day, I feel like there is something missing, you know? So I like to call, I like to ask, I like to come, I like to... Well, today is your day off, isn't Yeah, it? today is my <laughs> day off. But uh, I always come in my day off. Anyway, there's no day off for me, you know? I like to be a barber. My father, he used to be a barber, but ladies, not gents, yeah. Uh, maybe that's why, you know, because uh, he's the one who supports me to be a barber and uh, maybe because I love him too much, <laughs> that's why. But if you love the, your job and if you love to be a barber and the first thing is important to be proud that you are barber. Now most of the people maybe, I don't know if most of them, but some people, they, you ask them, what do you work? He tell you, I work in company, blah, blah. He don't tell you I'm a barber. Maybe he's shy, or maybe he don't like to say. Uh, but no, if someone asks me, what do you work here in Dubai? I say, I'm a barber. I don't say I own barber shop. I say, I'm a barber. Ah, 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 arati ki te hanuman lalaki Just to walk in the be 
see me yeah. Like a Norse film and it sucks trying to be P Move by myself cause I'm bored, no Ouija Count on myself, go figure a comedian yeah. So my solo influx never been touched Cause I carry these stripes like a pin sucks Edo when I see me Nemo Cause I swim with the sharks at the feet of the people With the wickedest mindset I set myself up with a figure I can digest yeah. With a vigorous grand test never rest Edmund Hillary, this is my Everest Face on a snow cover peak like Scarface yeah. Find myself between the rock and the hard place Most probably end up as a wreck, yeah Welcome to the industry Dubai as a whole proved to have a lot more to offer than I previously thought. The rich mix of cultures in this international city portrayed this even through the barbershops, with people coming from far and wide to work here. We'd love to hear your feedback, so drop us a comment in the box below. After that, go and watch the video diary.